Well, animal that's swimming in the Milwaukee harbors. Yeah, that's a beautiful brownie. Welcome to Milwaukee, boys. Yeah, it's pretty good when the camera camera crew gets to catch a big, beautiful man. That is a beautiful one. Goodbye. Your hands are gonna be frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Right on. Well, Eric, let's talk. Let's just give a little recap. I mean, that that's as real as it gets, you guys. Uh, we filmed these recap shows to try to give you a little bit of taste of, of you know, the true essence of what we just experienced, and that was it. Yeah, we got the best brown trout fishing in the world through the ice up and down the coast here and up, up and down in these harbors, you guys. You come down here, take advantage of it for the next couple of years while they're still stocking the brown trout. And that's exactly what you can catch right yeah. Come from Minnesota, New York, wherever you're coming from, and experience them while they're still here. Yeah. It's all about we, the experience, what these guys are bringing everywhere they go. And man, you see it, you got to experience it. How hey, awesome was I'm, that? Usually I'm behind the camera. Yeah, dude, that was so, well, so awesome. Well, it's like it's that, old. And, and that right there <laughs> is so insane. It's yeah, so awesome. All worth it. Freeze Wait. your tail off. Yeah, it's Freeze cold, so off. today, Today is uh, usually our second day filming is usually to capture the really beautiful, you know, shots. Cause when we focus on the fishing, it's hard to really focus on the camera stuff, you know? And so today we're out here and we had a huge weather change at the Northwest wind. And I mean, it's like 10 below with the wind chill uh, for all the friends that are watching. I know I say windshield because my mom used to always say that. So I'm always in the habit of say, say wind, windshield, but for the wind chill, it's like 10 below, maybe even 20 below. It's cold. Chilly. Chilly. Um, but I talk about the system a little bit. I mean, this is much like, I mean, we cover this in the show. You know, we... Uh, so what we're doing here is, you know, up and down in these harbors and marinas, what we're doing is we're just coming in here and we're setting up a handful of automatic fishermen rods. These are hook setting devices. We're setting up minnow, spawn, and then we're, we're jigging, you know, any type of minnows like shiners, fat heads, emerald shiners, golden shiners, all that, even little suckers will work in yeah. here. Yeah. Then we're coming in here with all your standard walleye gear, right? Like your like your little uh, jigging spoons, like a leech flutter, flutter spoon, spoon, yeah. You know, a little Clio type, or own a little hair jigs, and uh, any anything will work. I mean, a brown trout, they're a very opportunistic feeder. Yep. You come in here, they'll eat, a, they'll eat a spawn sack, they'll eat a little tiny stuff, but the one thing I want to tell people is, is have a loose drag, soft rod like a steelhead rod, light line, smaller baits, smaller hooks. So when you come here, kind of gear down, lighter line. If you see that rod we've got there right there that I designed, these rods, they're made for soft, soft lines. So when you set the hook, see that? See how that, that rod just kind of loads up like that to fight the fish? It's not going to snap. A graphite stiff little walleye rod yeah. might they won't work as good in here. Well, and, and not only for not only for the hook set, Eric, it's also just as important when they're when they're a foot under the ice yeah. by the hole and they're doing these these they, powerful they, their their head shakes are like this, straight yeah. up and down. Yep. And if your rod is too stiff, it'll actually rip out. Yeah, so a, a stiff rod, light line, something's gotta give. Yeah. Right? So that's where the soft rod, like a steel. To absorb rod, those to big, absorb huge because you can really feel that. We talked about that landing them. When you grab the line, you have to be able to kind of know when it, predict, yep. predict when it's going to do those head shakes. Yeah, well, that one, you could just kind of feel it when it was ready. You know, yeah. Just, oh, what a, what a sweet show, you guys. Uh, the season has been interesting. We've had a few failed attempts at uh, a few uh, shows and but we're not this one. Not this one. We no, showed up, one. we showed up and, and this guy right here, is as dialed as it gets. Joe is going to bring this footage that's on that camera that you're watching back to the studio, and maybe he'll show you a few of the highlights from yesterday. But it's uh, it's a sweet piece and a really sweet person with Eric and and his story and his guide service and his promotions, um, everything that he does for the industry. And you know, we talked about we talked about education. If you want to come talk to Eric, you can go to the Ice Team. Uh, Facebook page. Yep. You can find Eric online on on his Facebook page as well, and all those channels. But you can also come to the Milwaukee Ice Fishing Show, yep. where uh, where we Milwaukee where we work. Milwaukee Paul Ice yeah. Fishing Show. I'll be there at the Ice Team. We're if you want to learn about trout or any ice fishing, you guys, you come to those shows because it's not just me that's there. 
You got the best ice fishermen yeah. in the entire North America, even in the world, that are at these events. So it's a great time to learn. If you haven't ice fished before, you haven't trout fished before, you want to see the rigs, you want to see the setups, come to the seminars. You heard it from these guys. You come to the ice shows, watch the videos on YouTube, come yeah. to the Facebook page, and the rest is, hey, come out and enjoy Come it. enjoy Get it, out right. Of the house. Get yourself some Get out of the harbor. Yeah. Gear, get geared up. Come on out here and fish with us, guys. Yep, get out of that harbor. And Eric made a little funny. All the people behind us in their shirts and ties are working, and they were sitting out here catching these big fish. We are all the city slickers up there right now. Uh, they're working hard, though. And those are, those are, the, those are the people that we want to come and, and inspire to come fishing and see the fun that we have. I mean, we have fun, right? I mean, it's a great time, man. Ice yeah. fishing's totally—it's a totally different experience. You yeah. Know, you get your family, big groups of people. You yeah. Look out, you know, it's just—it's a total different experience. A lot of fun. It is crazy. I mean, the experience, and we can wrap it up here. But my our experience, I—I I mean, I was just on Lake of the Woods, you know, with country singer-songwriter Dave McElroy, and we were just on Tobin Lake. I mean, we are on these all these amazing adventures, and. The rest of our show season is gonna really rock. We have some really cool shows planned. I don't know, this one's pretty unique and it's pretty special. And the, the thing about this is in four years, this we might not be able to catch that fish. Yeah. You know, and we, we talk about that in the show, so. Yeah. The stocking numbers are going down, guys. So they're starting to cut the stocking numbers here on the Great Lakes. So you wanna take advantage of it. These are all stock fish, zero naturally reproducing fish. So we try to let the big browns go just because we don't want to kill them and eat them. Yeah. But if guys want to come here and eat steelhead or cohos or keep some smaller browns, you know, feel free to do so. It's a put and take fishery. Yeah. So, you know, we're, yeah. you know, like you said, what we're doing is just educating, promoting in all the videos and TV shows that we're doing. And uh, thank you guys for watching and supporting us, man. It's yeah. been awesome, brother. boys. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. great show. So uh make sure to go to the ice team facebook page comment we uh we appreciate you all as fans and and you know the dedication that the film crew has to dealing with the chilly weather and, and the challenges and and i we just truly put so much passion and dedication and we hope we hope you guys enjoy what we're doing but make sure to like us and make sure to subscribe to the Ice Team YouTube channel, that, that means a lot to us. And go follow Eric on his channels and you're gonna see a lot more of this guy within the Ice Team stuff in the, in the, in the future. Rock on, brown, yeah. brown town. Brown town. Yep, right on.